Hi everybody. What a week I've had nonstop, been running around all over uh, the great state in which I live, but we're back and we're going to do our final Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw box opening. And this is going to be a quick video. Um, by that I mean I'm not going to read every single common card because the set is so small that by part four, if you've been keeping up, then we already know what every single common card is and we've seen a ton of them. So I'm not going to waste your time going over into each individual card. Um, it's just, you know, we'll just get to the good stuff. We'll see what the rares are and hopefully we pull a plethora of great ultra rares. Maybe that elusive Egyptian god ghost rare raw. That'd be great. Thus far, we haven't had a ton of luck. Uh, well, I mean, we did get... Um, Alternate Art Raw in the last video, which was pretty exciting. Um, still no Guardian Slime or Egyptian God Slime, but that's what today's for. Last shot, and we're just going to get right into it. Here. So I should also point out that, um, you know, at the end of each video, we do... Um, Bound of the Bound Creator was our rare there, by the way. We, you know, I'd like to go over the values of each of these um, top five cards we pull from each opening. And I just want to state that, like, it's not all about the money to me. Like, as I'm putting more money back into this game and investing in these packs and cards, uh, let's see what we got here, Cosmos Channeling, channeling that, um, you know, it, it is a hobby, but I do have to make up for it somehow. So for me, it is pretty cool seeing at the end what these cards are worth, because all the duplicates I do put on TCG Player and try to make up some of it. To bring more content to you guys. Brain control, not, yeah, Machira the Destructor. Okay, so three three packs in, three rares. But anyway, I do appreciate these cards, the art, everything that goes into them because they, they really are um, little artistic masterpieces, each one. Just the effort that goes into each one of these drawings, it's pretty incredible. So, Reactor Slime. So, I just want to make sure people are aware of that. that yeah, I do love the game as I've been relearning it. Um, there's a reason why I decided to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings over other trading cards game. This was just the one that stuck with me all of those years. So, so you can make a cyber. And then we got those commons. But yeah. So now we're on part four of these of this Rage of Raw opening. And due to it being such a small set, I think there's only like 60 cards in the set. The Cosmos channeling. That um I've kind of felt like I've burnt out of this relatively quickly. I was excited for this, but maybe it's just been the somewhat lackluster pools. I mean, I've, I've gotten decent stuff, like um, Ancient Chant, I think it was, and a couple of Jins of the Machine Menaces, but still, you know, Holding Arms and Everlasting Alloy. Now let's take a look here. We are, how many packs in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs in. No hollows yet. Interesting. So, not looking too good for us, guys. Maybe they're all hiding deep down below. Uh, come on. There we go. Almost done. Okay. Eight straight rares. But anyway, there's a reason I came back to this instead of Pokemon. And I did grow up playing Pokemon. Um, I, I learned how to play Magic later in life, but it didn't grip me, like, realistically, like the... Number nine, like Yu-Gi-Oh did. Oh, hey, hey, there he is, Egyptian God Slime. Finally, great ultra rare, and I just realized something. I had forgotten that the supers and the ultra rare, the hollows, were the fourth card. So I may have missed a bunch. We'll check back shortly on that. Let's, uh, totally forgot about that. I was going right to the fifth card. So we'll just, uh, scroll back through here, make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, yeah, missed a Mechlord Emperor Weisel. Super rare. Maybe another one's hiding in here. Cross Disciple. Oh, a Jinza the Machine Menace. <laughs> okay, missed that ultra rare. Good pull. Our fourth, by the way. And anything else? Yeah, a Millennium Revelation. So, there were three hollows in there that I just ignorantly went right past. So, not too bad so far, guys. I take back what I've said. Um, now, thinking about it, we've pulled almost the entire set, 
except for the Ghost Rare and um, Guardian Slime. So, not a bad box. I mean, <laughs> I would love to trade in one of my Jinzo the Machine Menaces, because that's my fourth one, for another alternate Art Raw or God Slime or something like that. But I think we're just destined for Jinzos. Let's begin a Jinzo. There's another one. Common Jinzo. So, not a super fun, crazy, ultra rare Jinzo. But cool nonetheless. Oh my gosh. And here we go. Another episode. Another time Zap can open a pack. Raptor Slime. Rare. Plus, with 36 packs here. It does take a while ripping open each one and having to read each card. It's uh, it's a lot. So we're we're flying through this. And Blaze Cannon, another ultra rare, cool. Wild Monster appears was our regular, regular rare. So four ultras. I mean three ultras so far on the left side of the box alone. So I think it's the first time we've gotten more ultras per side thus far than supers. So that's pretty cool. Not upset about that in the least bit. And now we've got left arm, brain control. Now, okay, there's a super Mechlord assembly. And our regular rare is Mechlord deflection. My piles are getting gross over here. Off to the side. Oh, come on. And another terrible back opening. One of these days, I'll get better. Jinzo Jector. Fire, everlasting alloys are rare. Oh, see, Habit almost came through. I almost showed up reading the cards, which going forward on other openings, I will. It's just, uh, as I said, these cards, these packs being so small and so many of them. Lord, Cyber Energy Shocks are rare. We already know the commons. In fact, I think I probably have 10 of each common at this point. So, a lot of Jinzo support, if I ever decide to do that in the future. Cool. Mech Lord Emperor, Psychic Mega Cyber. Okay. And our last pack on the left side. Can we get a fourth Ultra Rare for one side? That would be crazy. What do we get here? We get Holding Arms and a Mech Lord Astro the Eradicator. So, three Ultra Rares, three Super Rares for one side. Six Hollows so far in this box. Not bad. And now to our final what 18 cards right now yeah <laughs> 18 packs for um rage of raw and mount of the bound creator was our rare so far this box has been pretty good um getting another jinzo i'm in a egyptian god slime first one of those happy to pull it now can we get a guardian slime and a ghost rare let's keep going and you get a cosmos channeling Guys, let's just do it. I keep talking about it. I say it every video, that let's just do it. Let's just get it over with and pull an epic card. So here we go, let's just, just do it. Token Sunday, no, we didn't do it there. But I got a good feeling, today, maybe tomorrow, maybe next video, maybe two weeks from now, we're gonna do it on this channel. We're gonna pull something crazy. We're gonna pull a starlight, we're gonna pull a ghost, I don't know. But I'm gonna make enough of these videos in time but statistically, we have to pull one. Okay, Mechlord Army Deployer Obligato is our super rare. And a Wild Monster Appears was our regular rare. So that is our fourth super of the day. Let's keep going here. More hollows, please. More ultra rares, please. Ghost rare, please. Jinzo Jector. Okay, Mount of the Bound Creator. Almost did it again. I see that Jinzo Jector, and for some reason I need to say his name out loud. No idea why. It's like a nervous tick or something. Okay. Control. Oh, White Aura Behemoth. Gotten a ton of those guys. So that was our Ultra Rare with Mechlord Astro the Eradicator as our regular rare. Okay. White Aura Behemoth. Oof. Man. That card is not in demand. We'll just say that. Mech Lord Fortress, Jinzo Lord, Reactor Slime. Well, if you guys heard that, that was my cat going absolutely ballistic. 
no idea why or what he's doing, but I just saw him tear up the steps down the hallway like a bat out of hell. So, whatever. And Jin's ejector, Psychic Mega Slammer. All right. Well, guys, we're getting down to it here. Really getting down to it. So our chances of the Ghost Rare with every pack get slimmer and slimmer. And Sun God Unification Super Rare with an Everlasting Alloy Regular Rare. Boy, we're down to, let's, let's just take these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine packs. Ooh, you guys feel that? Feel that heat, that pressure coming off these? Wisel. Hey, Garf, there it is, Guardian Slime. Fantastic. Guys, I think we did it. I think we completed the set. I, I, except the Ghost Rare. We did not get the Ghost Rare yet. But man, how crazy would that be? Then one of these last eight packs is packs. We get the Ghost Rare and we finish off the Rage of Raw set. That would be awesome. Absolutely freaking awesome. Whew, feel good with the Guardian Slime. That was fantastic. Needed that. Oh, two Jin yeah, Jinza. Reactor slimes are rare. Ooh, guys, I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this. I mean, look at that. We go from no Guardian, no Egyptian slime, to both of them in the same box. Fan freaking tastic. Okay, Emperor Weisel again. With an everlasting alloy, regular rare. So we're down to what is this? Five, six, whatever. Doesn't matter. Give me the ghost. Let's get spooky here. It's Halloween. Cyber Energy Shot. Nothing spooky there. Nothing haunted. <laughs> the sound of me opening that peck quickly caused my cat to jump off the wall. Literally jump off the wall. Mind Control. Cosmos Channeling. Uh, he's a goofball. He is the worst. Like, he's a great cat. Not the worst, but he's goofy and he's loud. And I'm doing these sometimes. It can be distracting. So, it is what it is. Amplifier, Monster Reborn. Mechlord Emperor Weisel, Mechlord Deflection. All right, guys. Three packs left. Let there be a ghost in here. Let, let them be haunted. Let Casper come out and be like, hey, future ghost rare. I hope you guys like him. He's not my uncle, but he's a pretty cool guy. Okay, Law of the Cosmos for a super rare. Reactor Slime for our regular rare. And then there were two. Finals right here. Who will come in second place? Mechlord Astro Dragon Triskelion. Not a great. I mean, he's fine. It's fine. But we've gotten all different Ultra Rares this time, so that's kind of interesting. No repeats so far today. When the Ultra Rares, I think we have been a repeat Super Rare. So let's see here. And the last pack of. Oh my, if it will come out, our legendary duelists, Rage of Raw set. Let's do it. Monster Reborn. Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. Mechlord Astro Dragon Asterisk. Mechlord Fortress and Mechira the Destructor. Womp, 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 womp. Anyway, guys, that's what we got. We finished the whole set except for the Ghost Rare. So with that, uh, you guys know the drill. We're going to see what we pulled today. So we know what we got. We know what we pulled, but how much are they worth? Well, that's what we're here to find out. So starting with number one, Blaze Cannon. Yeah, this guy, our fifth most, uh, I guess our fifth card. Fifth most worth card. You get the point. Uh, $1.08 going right now so cool card to see goes great with raw you guys know how it works but yeah blaze cannon number five cool card and i just want to point out that it's a really pretty looking card like that art i don't know i just think that one's really cool so blaze cannon number five buck 08 number four going right along with that theme uh ancient egyptian we got millennium revelation super rare so this is one of those super rare cards that be quite a bit of ultra rare cards in value. 
Currently, Millennium Re Revelation, our fourth card is $1.26. So, Millennium Revelation, I think that's the tablet or tablet of lost memories from the show. So, yeah, number four, Millennium Revelation. Coming in hot and spicy, number three. You know him, you love him, we see him all the time. Jinzo the Machine Menace, our fourth Jinzo of the set, well, of the series. And me seeing him do a steady decline in value since then. He currently, at our number three card, is $1.55, according to TCG Player. But still, cool card, good old Jinzo, and what a menace he is. Number three, $1.55. He's a bit more prominent there. Number two, one of the cards I did not have, Guardian Slime. Really happy to check this card off the list. Was expecting it to be a bit more, uh, a bit worth, worth him a bit. Well, I cannot talk today. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I expected him to be a, worth a little bit more than what he was. Just with, I believe he was relatively short printed. And I did first time getting them. I understood he was one of the chase cards, but he came in at $2.26 for our fourth, I'm sorry, our second uh, top card of the pool. Which means you guys know who number one is. That's right, Egyptian God Slime, only to be superseded by the Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw for the most expensive card in the set. So finally got him. $21.92 as of right now in TCG Player, uh, making of this video, I should specify. So I'm really happy to finally pull Egyptian God Slime. Awesome card. And that completes the set for us if we don't count the Ghost Rare. And you could even say that we did get a Wing Dragon of Raw because we got the alternate art. So really happy. I can, uh, I think that's the first set I, um, pat at our booster pack related that I can, uh, I can mark as finished. Again, asterisk with Ghost Rare. Maybe someday I'll get that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We've got some more surprises coming in. I know Maximum Gold will be in the near future. Well, November, along with Phantom. I can't remember the name of the Phantom set. That's coming out November 2. And then in the meantime, the hold you over. We got some other little surprises, stuff like that. So thanks again, guys. Take care. Let's go.